is going on guys? Andy Gabs back for another video and welcome to video number 100. Uh, it's been just over a year since I started YouTube and this is my 100th vlog. Uh, not technically my 100th video, but like the 100th actual vlog and I couldn't think of a cooler place to do it at. We are going on a safari. So behind me is the biggest completely open plane safari in the United States. Uh, we are gonna do a private tour here. We're gonna feed giraffes, feed all kinds of awesome animals. It's gonna be a great day. But before we get started, let's look at a couple of my favorite moments from the past 100 videos and comment down below. Tell me what your favorite moments were from all of the different videos, all the different vlogs. Uh, what was your favorite? What did you enjoy the most? So comment down below and let's take a look at some of my favorite moments. <laughs> it's a girl. A snake? What? Um, I mean, I'm down, whatever. He's super cold. Oh. Yeah, you probably should. Way heavier than I expected him to be. And the moment of truth. Come on, little one. You're gonna love this. Oh. Whoa. That's pretty. Bark everywhere. Bruh. But that's not V2. Let's go. D. Oh, yeah, it hurts. Oh, it definitely hurt. So Andrea is a level 10 snake handler <laughs> and didn't get bit by all the- Jonathan has just won Home for the Holidays, courtesy of Metro by T-Mobile. <laughs> I flew across the room at him for some reason. <laughs> right, guys, she's here. Hey. Hold on. She got to get stuff out. I don't think I got anything. It's okay. <gasps> Ow! Are you kidding me? Ryan cares for those animals more than anyone that I know. Oh, uh, guys, I don't think I can do it. Oh, I'm calling it quits right there. Three, two, one. <laughs> what? Yeah. I discovered that it has hot dog in it, which is super weird. I hope you guys like that little uh, look at the past. Like I said, we are here at the Global Wildlife Center, ran by Global Wildlife Foundation. So in just a couple minutes, we are gonna get on one of those little like, I don't know, RV, Jeep looking type of thingies and do a private tour of all of this. It's huge, I don't know how many acres. I'm sure they'll tell us later on. But you can also come here for pretty cheap and get on that like big um, tractor pull ride thing. I don't think it's as like intimate, I guess, with the animals, um, but it would still be super cool to do. And even the thing that we're doing is really not that expensive. Um, but yeah, we're just waiting to get loaded up. They said all we had to do was stand here with our blue wristbands and they would come and find us. So uh, once we get on and we get the tour going, I'll bring you guys back and hopefully we'll see some pretty cool animals. We are in our little, uh, what, what is this thing called, the vehicle? It is called an Austrian pin scour. It's an ex-military vehicle from you the 1970s. All right, I'm not, I'm not gonna know Austrian military <laughs> vehicles. Uh, okay, so it's an Austrian vehicle. This is our tour guide, Erica, you guys can kind of see at the front right there. Uh, she just kind of gave us the rundown. We can feed pretty much everything but the uh, zebras. She said the zebras get kind of food aggressive and obviously uh, I don't want to get bit by a zebra and I don't think Kelsey or Scarlett want to get bit by a zebra either. Mm -hmm. But we have our corn and our, I don't know, pellet food right here. Uh, we're about to head out and start to go feed some stuff. So we are at our first stop and uh, right here we got some little miniature donkeys. Hey buddy. Uh oh. The zebra came over like, yeah, come on, hook it up. They're so cool. Every zebra that's here decided to surround our uh, our little vehicle so we couldn't feed anything else because nothing else wanted to come up and get kicked by a zebra. Uh, so now we are gonna go ahead and move. We do have like this one little, little dude chasing us over here. I don't know if he's a deer or what he is. Um, he wants some food though. But So they said that we're gonna be able to feed giraffes later on. I think that's gonna be cool. That's probably gonna be my favorite part. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what that guy is, but he's, uh, he's very pretty. Uh, so I think we're gonna feed these guys now. <laughs> I guess you're right about the boundary thing. Hey, yeah. <laughs> take me out to dinner first. If you want, you can kind of hold it up above so, these uh, guys and try to pull it. These guys, the guys that I was just talking uh, about, they are called uh, Giant Eland. So they're the second biggest species you said? Second largest antelope. Yes, second largest species of antelope. Um, and they uh, they just, they kind of just make themselves at home. I'm spilling our food everywhere. Uh, she said that they'll try to steal your cups. Um, you gotta like hold it up and dump it. Yeah, kind of like dump it into their mouths. But look at that. These Kelsey is like 
getting mauled over there. They're so cool. This is I love their horns too, they're beautiful. This is definitely better than the uh, the San Diego tour. You just made me spill food everywhere. Sure, blame uh, it on the animal. Yeah, this one's definitely better than the, the San Diego tour. This is pretty cool. Yeah, whoa, these things got some big horns. Wow. South African Watusi. South African Watusi. Holy horns. Oh, jeez. Uh, tend to forget how big their horns are. Mindful of them. Yeah. What's up, dude? Their, their horns are incredibly smooth. If you want to put yeah, them down carefully. Jeez. I don't know if you guys can tell how big their horns are, but. That's like the size of my legs. I mean, as long as my legs. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> easily as long as your leg. They keep getting their horns like all caught on each other and they get all like <laughs> tangled up. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, man. Help me out. Dude, look at that. Jeez. You guys can tell next to my hand. Ooh. Just how big these dudes are. Oh. oh god. You guys hear like all those banging noises? That's their horns getting caught like on the top. You know what? And then they're trying to like around. shake it free. What? When I walk around with her in my carrier and I forget like she's there and I turn and I she usually like hits the door or something. <laughs> yeah, that's a <laughs> Because I'm used to like not having a bump. Not having something? Yeah. Oh look at that mouth. Yummy, yeah, open it up. Oh god, look at the tongue. Their tongue is huge. Oh, so the tribe that these cows get their name from say that if you touch their tongue, you will get seven years of good luck. Seven oh, years of that. good luck. Oh my god. I think this is the biggest one. Hi. What's up? Oh, that'd be such a good thumbnail. No, I feel like the thumbnail has to be a giraffe. Oh, watch your horn, buddy. Jeez. <laughs> their breath is not good. Say goodbye to the uh, African Watusi. Those guys are cool and like their horns, like no joke, giant. Uh, there was a baby, so, oh yeah, we're about to come up on it over on our left. So funny, you just gotta like casually push them out of the way. So cool. Uh, those guys were awesome. So now we're about to move on over to the bison area, uh, which is another one that's, that I think is pretty cool. Kind of like bucket listy to get right up and feed a bison. Um, from a safari truck. Man, they are huge. But this is a beefalo, which is a bison mixed with a cow, compared to a normal bison who just came over here. So this is a normal bison. Wow. God, his head is huge. Big Bertha. Oh, so this is a female. Mm, this is a female, yep. Males get bigger? Yeah, the males are they're over there in the water, one sitting right here on the shore. Oh, gotcha. But uh, yes, they are bigger than her. <laughs> She seems like, I don't know what could be bigger. Kelsey, did you just eat a bug? Yeah. She just hangs out. Dude, wow, that's a big cow. Holy crap. Oh, I, let's see, I don't think he likes the camera, so I'm gonna put it away real quick. You guys think this guy wants some food or what? Yep. Threw a couple pieces of food out and uh, that's all he wanted. Okay, so we're gonna go check out a uh, camel real quick, but it just so happens that the camel is next to like top 10 cutest animal in the world. Uh, not gonna tell you guys what it is because we're gonna be there in just a couple seconds. Look at him. Oh, you can't look at him. Can you see him? Oh, can you guys see him? Where'd he go? Oh my God. Here he goes. So the camel oh, is Clyde. That's a little giraffe baby giraffe. giraffe. Hey Archie, what's up buddy? You want some corn? They said the giraffes love corn, so I haven't broke it out this whole time. Oh no, oh, don't really? leave buddy. Hey, corn. Oh, no, he's like, uh, I think I'm out. Hey, camel, don't eat all the corn. What are you doing? Hey, no, 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 no. You want to get stacked the buckets. The camel just like totally came inside. There you go, that's all right. You can let him have some of that. We got a bunch of that left over. This camel is ginormous. Um, and he's like all the way inside our, our little vehicle. He's just helping himself to the whole bucket of food. Now you do have another giraffe coming out. Oh yeah, wow. Oh my God. This is Camellia. Sorry, I'm like taking pictures on my phone and I have the camera out at the same time. But yeah, not a big deal. Just a giraffe and a camel inside right now. 
I'm amazed how big the camel is. I didn't realize like when we were coming up on him, it, he didn't look as big as he actually is. Hey, look it, I'll, I'll feed you some of that, but you can't just have the bucket, all right? That's not how this works. This is teamwork. Oh, there's Kelsey, the giraffe came to get some food from her. This is so cool. The camel's still just helping himself to like whatever he can. That's all right. He's cute. All right, well, uh, we're gonna continue to feed the giraffes and everything real quick. Uh, and then on our next move, it looks like we might have another giraffe coming over. I'll, uh, I'll bring you guys back in a second. So now we have a, another giraffe out right there. It's hard to get a good angle because they're so giant. But Kelsey's feeding that one. We still got the camel over here, like, pillaging all of our food. If you don't but, mind. Yeah, he's like, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Hey, camel. Scarlet's wondering, like, what is happening right now. Yeah. You got a friend. Hey. Like, hey. Hey. Five, what day he, is like, it? sticks his... What day is it? Hump day. It's actually not. Today is Saturday. But, no. Oh, my God. We're about to have a battle royale between a giraffe and a camel for this corn. Meanwhile, this guy's over here, the Elon, is just, he's just waiting, nice and gently. This is definitely cool. Not too many places that I've been can I say that I've been, like, pestered by two giraffes and a camel for my bucket of corn. They're so cute. Listen. Now they're all right over here. This guy keeps, like, getting real close to my face, too. He's just like, what's up? All right, hey, we're going to feed your cousin. No, no more corn. Stop. Uh-huh. Oh, the camel just wants to bite him. Well, like, eat him. He tried to eat There you go, guys. That was cool. So now we're going to go try to feed the baby again. Oh, we got another little birdie chasing us. I'll give him some food. Okay. Oh, so here's the baby again. Here he is. Oh, he's so gentle. Oh, big giraffe's coming back. He's so cute. There you go, bud. Oh, wow, so that's a, a new mom, so I guess we can let her have some corn. You can't have the whole bucket, though. Nope, you're greedy. Ah! Oh, they just... See, that's the thing about them. Their necks are so long, they can just go wherever they want. Like, there's nowhere I can put this that I can hide it. Never have I had to like discipline a giraffe, so that's a that's a new one for me. Hey. Aww, ah! <laughs> Look at this. Hey, get your head out of there. Oh yeah, you really gotta like open it up and cover it. Yeah, all right. They're smart, they can move it around. Yeah, right there, like I'm not dumb, dude, that's a towel. So this little giraffe behind me, I'll try to zoom in a little bit. That one right there is three weeks old. And uh, I'll zoom in on her a little bit more. You guys can actually see her umbilical cord uh, down at the bottom. And that is this girl's baby? No, that one's baby, right? Actually, she is the one, she's following her mom. Oh, okay, mom so way, way over there. Man. But this giraffe here, this is Allie, and her baby is Archie. Oh. So you got mama and baby in this, this little window as well. He's so, so cute. Mama right there. I know you guys can't see Mama's head, but Mama's baby is right there. I need some corn. This is definitely an experience. Hi. Hi. This dude's still just sitting here. Eileen is still, or her. Yeah. Hi. Kelsey's trying to feed the baby now. Yeah, the baby is extremely gentle. And then you've got these guys who are just like, I know get they're... out of my way. Ah. <laughs> Two giraffes. Never thought I would have this problem. But I'm not mad about it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, feed these guys the rest of the little bit of food we have, and then uh, I'll bring you guys back in a few minutes. That tour was, it was awesome. Uh, this was definitely something that was definitely worth it to do for the 100th video. It was just cool. Babe, do you think it was awesome? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean like little like three giraffes and a camel and a baby giraffe all like in your face at one time uh, Definitely super cool. Alrighty guys. Well that wraps it up. That was video number 100. I hope you liked it um, Me and Kelsey obviously had so much fun, you know the baby giraffes the big giraffes the camel the Elins new animal that I learned the bison the beefalo the giant cow 
everything was so so cool um, we honestly just had a blast here filming and I think we're gonna come back because they have these crazy new like 4x4 four four. Uh, if you've seen always evolving Miguel's like 4x4 four four things that he has uh, they have those that you can do tours in now so I just talked to the general manager um, Jimmy mr. Jimmy and he said that we could come back and film in one of those so if you want to see that definitely let me know I think that would make an awesome video maybe I can get like Brian or Noah to come down uh, I think that would be pretty cool. You know, huge thank you to uh, Nicole and Erica. Erica was our tour guide and Nicole, she's the one that helped us come out to the Global Wildlife Center and kind of set all of this up for me. You know, it was, it was just awesome. I wouldn't have rather done anything else for my 100th video and like even the outro. Like, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but there's probably like 200 different animals all right there from Africa, Asia. This place is just awesome. Definitely go check out all of their links below. I'm going to link their Facebook, their Instagram. I think they might even have a YouTube channel. I don't know if they're active on it, but I'll link that as well as their website. If you're ever in this area in the, you know, Louisiana, Mississippi, even East Texas area, this place isn't that far and it's definitely worth it to come out. So thank you to you guys. You know, I appreciate you guys sticking with me for over a hundred videos. Pretty crazy. I hope a hundred videos from now, we're at, you know, a hundred thousand subscribers. I would really love to get that plaque. Uh, I think it would be awesome and I think it's totally possible. So thank you guys for sticking with me. I appreciate it. If you did like this video, please go ahead, drop it a like for me. Like I said, go check out all the links in the description. Comment down below what your favorite part was. What's your favorite video that I've ever made? Subscribe if you're new here and turn that notification bell on so you get notified of all of my awesome videos to come. I appreciate you guys. Peace.